hi everyone welcome to my channel i am temi temi banjo and if it's your first time here welcome to this amazing lovely and beautiful channel please kindly consider hitting the subscribe button which is somewhere down below here and give this video a thumbs up if you aren't new here thank you so much for coming back how are you doing let me know in the comment section and just give this video a thumbs up and let's just jump right into today's video okay So before I start, I would like to give a disclaimer. I am not a nutritionist, I am not a dietitian, so I am not a licensed professional about food and you know nutrition. So I'm just talking about you know my knowledge, my wealth of experience, and what I have what I know what has worked for me and some of my friends in the past. So based on just my own um research, that is what I'm talking from. So please don't come for me, don't attack me and say, Oh, <laughs> who are you to be saying all this it is a disclaimer i am not a person who is licensed to do so so please thank you so much this atmosphere is going to be peaceful all right so number one reason would be that you are stressed okay i'm, I'm sure you're wondering how will stress make me not lose weight it's honey stress will make you not to lose weight because the energy your body is supposed to be using to burn that fat is trying to calm you down your adrenaline is up your insulin is up and you know your body cannot tap into your reserved fats that is supposed to make you lose weight so therefore you're going to gain weight i have talked about how stress will make you gain weight in a video which i did previously and i'm going to leave that here in the card make sure you check it out and ways you can reduce your stress that could be you know finding a hobby doing things that make you happy and just try to give yourself some relief i have been stressed in the past and i had to take some drugs i I don't know if I should mention them, but I had to I had to take some drugs which kind of helped me reduce my stress level and you know everything came back to normal again. The second reason would be that you are not getting enough sleep. And please don't be surprised that sleep deprivation will make you not to lose weight because you don't have enough energy to even lose weight in the first place. Let's start from there. Like your body doesn't have enough energy in your reserve to help you do that weight loss function and the little energy that is there is what is keeping you up what is keeping your brain alive and everything so the remaining energy your body is supposed to use to you know tap into your reserve and help you burn fat is using it for other things that are more vital than losing weight so please try and get enough sleep also when you don't get enough sleep you tend to wake up stressed okay <laughs> and then you make poor food choices and then your body temperature is high your sugar level is high your insulin level is high and so much more and all those things will not let you lose weight so make sure you get at least six to eight hours of sleep which will help which will help you lose weight okay also it could be the fact that you have an insulin resistance issue is it issue or issue <laughs> insulin resistance issue so when you have insulin resistance issue it means that your insulin level is not going down and your body is not able to use stored fats to give you energy and whenever your body is using stored fats when you're in a calorie deficit diet carb deficit diet or when your insulin level goes down your body tends to use stored fat to give you energy that whole process is a fat burning process which is also known as weight loss like you're losing weight as it as it explains so if you're in, if you're having insulin resistance you might want to reduce your carb intake you might want to reduce your calorie intake and then you want to try intermittent fasting and please make sure you fast for a minimum of 16 hours meaning you fast for 16 hours you do not eat anything for 16 hours and then you have an open window from for eight hours where you can eat and you know if you have so much joy in you and you can extend it you can go for 20 hours or even 24 hours fast but please try and start from 16 hours that's like the basic one which is fine for most people most beginners who are just starting the intermittent fasting so 16 hours should be the minimum and that will be sure to deal with the insulin resistance issue you're having okay all right next to be that you might have a slow metabolism and when you have a slow metabolism it means that your body is not burning um it's not 
it's not processing food as fast as it should and the food is still in your stomach it has not been fully digested meanwhile you're hungry again so food is going to be piling and piling and piling up in your body meanwhile your body has a slow metabolism i mean it's taking time to burn food or to process the food into energy and you know distribute the nutrients into different types different parts of your body rather and you know you're eating more you won't lose weight okay you're going to keep gaining weight because you are not done with the one inside and you are eating again so if you have a slow metabolism you can also try intermittent fasting you should reduce your calorie intake you should also increase your fiber intake because fiber is what we don't need but what we need fiber aids digestion rather fiber aids digestion vegetables also aid digestion green tea also aids digestion drinking enough water aids digestion which brings us to our next point you aren't drinking enough water why why aren't you drinking water drink water honey drink water before your meal during your meal after your meal if you can't drink water during your meal because you think you'll be full drink water before your meal and after your meal it kind of trick your brain to eat less and obviously helps you digest food faster so make sure you drink water because water might be the reason or only reason why you are not losing weight efficiently so make sure you increase your water intake i really don't know what the water intake is for daily whatever but i drink enough water even me i know it i make sure i take enough water especially when i am on keto diet just to avoid keto constipation but aside that i make sure i take a lot of water not just any kind of fluid because it's easy for you to take soft drink it's easy for you to take wine it's easy for you to take alcohol or juice water h2o water that is what you should have okay okay this next point is kind of tricky <laughs> eating too little i know it sounds somehow if you are eating too little and let me tell you you will not lose weight why let me explain when you are eating too little or when you have a low calorie intake especially if it's been prolonged and your body has been tapping into its reserve almost every other day i mean you're losing weight already and after some time it stops when you re realize that it means your body is telling you oh you don't have enough like supply coming in so i am trying to tap into the reserve that's stored fat little by little so you do not pass out so you do not you know collapse or something and that means that your body can't you know efficiently burn fat the way it was burning fat again so you need to trick your body i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so you need to trick your body by increasing your calorie intake for about two to three days letting your body think that it has so much to you know use to work and see i don't know if i'm explaining this thing properly you need to increase your calorie intake to trick your body into thinking that it has enough calorie to work with and when your body is working perfectly again honey reduce your calorie intake it's called stalling sometimes and i go through stalling a lot like i was on a keto diet for four weeks and like the first week already i was not even losing weight again because my appetite dropped so i was eating less i was eating once a day and i was eating very little i was eating like three eggs and coffee Three eggs and coffee that was all i was eating and i began stalling so i had to like switch to carbs to make my body think that oh there's food again you can continue losing weight so it's all about tricking your body so when you increase your intake again your body feels oh i can now tap into the reserve and it begins to tap into the reserve making you lose weight then you switch back to whatever diet you are going to so if you're having too little to eat sometimes sometimes it might be because of that okay i hope i was able to explain this perfect please if you do not understand let me know in the comment section and i elaborate it as you know big as i can in the comment section below so that means you should also try and avoid diets that have small calorie intake and i mean diets because diets are prolonged okay so you should try and avoid them and whatever calorie intake you're having i mean for a woman you shouldn't have less than 1200 or 1500 or so and that time i was having like 300 calories so it was very bad and i wasn't doing it on purpose i just didn't have appetite to eat which is very very common with the keto diet so you should avoid diets that um have such you know low calorie intake make sure you're having your 
real and you know the required calorie intake but in other kinds of food such as vegetables moderate protein and moderate fiber not just carbs and you know fat and oil okay except you're on keto fat is very important all right so the next one will be that you are making poor food choices especially if you maybe wake up in the morning and you're like oh i wouldn't eat big food today i'm not eating rice i'm not eating yam you know what i'll just take one biscuit and you're like mm, one biscuit could not will not make me fat meanwhile that biscuit has more calories sugar carbs more than a portion of rice so you should be intentional about your food intake be sure that you are and that's why i like it too we plan ahead like what we're going to eat in like three days is already planned in our head and sometimes it's already made so as i was saying you should plan your food not necessarily plan your food but make sure you are eating good food and not um you know going around oh let me just have one sausage that's what i'll have for today or you wake up in the morning and probably you skip breakfast and by the time you want to eat you are very hungry and you end up making a poor food choice you buy maybe three sausages and one hot dog and <laughs> you are wondering how come i'm gaining weight when i didn't eat in the morning you should plan your food know how many calories you are having today know if you are going to have this or that if it's going to be rice you're having make sure you're pairing it with vegetables if it's swallow you're having make sure you pair it with good vegetable moderate protein so don't just go around, don't just go around making poor food choices i hope that is clear so the next will be that you are eating in bits <laughs> and that is so deceiving for you to be eating in bits because you automatically think you are having a little to eat meanwhile you're having more calories imagine you go around eating one biscuit here one sweet here one sausage there one donut there and you're thinking oh i just had bits you lost count of what you are meant to you know your intake what your intake is meant to be and you are, you are not even you don't even have a grip of what is going into your stomach all you know is that oh i ate this and you know it wasn't so much but that's what i mean by in, be intentional about your food so all these reasons will not make you lose weight if you are trying to lose weight you have to be intentional about what is going into your body make sure you think it through make sure you think it is it worth it is it you know going to deter my 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 success or my weight loss journey something like that just think it through and make sure that you know whatever is going into your body is perfect for your body and perfect for your weight loss journey and weight loss is not just a phase it's not just a you know one time thing one time thing <laughs> god the english one time thing it is a journey it is a lifestyle journey therefore you should try to you know cultivate many habits that can be practiced that can be practiced on in the long run i mean habits that are sustainable not just a one-time thing and so the last part will be that you have hormonal issues hormonal issues can have a lot to do with your appetite and certain types of things that will help you lose weight eg it, it can affect your adrenaline it could affect your insulin so probably it's just your hormonal hormonal imbalance and also stress could be a fact a factor that can affect your hormonal imbalance so it all boils down to stress i cannot stress how much you should try to you know relax <laughs> problem not they finish relax take a deep breath and you know try and think it through whatever it is that's stressing you your your mental hey your mental health your mental health is more is more important and you know i've found a way to just relieve myself i I've, i think i've shared this before watching movies i don't know talking to people that kind of relieves me from stress and i've had phases where stress just made me gain unnecessary weight even when i was on a diet so i'm not going to go too deep into that so i think that's it about this video and i hope i mentioned everything that i know about this topic and if i remember anyone or if you remember anyone or know anyone please do let me know i am also learning okay i am not an expert as i mentioned earlier in this video let me know in the comment section below and remember if you made it up to this point and you haven't clicked that subscribe button i know you are going to binge and watch another video so just hit the subscribe button already okay 
give this video a thumbs up and please do not go away stick around with me by checking my other videos as you will love them so let's go i hope to see you in my next one all right let's go Mwah.